Hi, it's Taz in the kitchen, Gut Patrol style. I wanted to just share with you my lunch. I've been in my freezer and if you know me, you know I'm always looking for something to eat, but I'm trying to be um, economical. Well, I had in my freezer some turkey sausage that was Italian flavored. So I grilled these on my uh, Ninja grill. So I grilled those. And then I decided that I wanted to do some um, dry beans. So I did some uh, black eyed beans and I let some of them cook really down and then I finished pressing them down to make them kind of mushy. Uh, but this has onions, red uh, peppers, uh, yellow peppers, and orange peppers, and minced garlic. And so then I got this great idea to mush it up and let it become a spread. So we're going to try this and see what this tastes like. So I've got my bun here, and we're going to put some mustard, because I don't know what this is going to taste like. But I will tell you, I came up with this after I tried one of these um, sausage, turkey sausage dogs. And I didn't really like the flavor. I'm just so transparent. I'm going to pick this one up with my hand and put it in here. We got the mustard. I didn't like the flavor. It wasn't that it was really sweet to me. It just didn't have, oops, it just didn't have much of a kick. Now, you know, I was supposed to put some of my little um, spread, but that's okay. This is for me. We're going to go in now and put some spread. Going to put some of this spread. And I decided to try this because one is more protein. And of course, you know, it's not only protein, it's fiber. So this is gut patrol style. So we're trying to get the fiber in. But also because I put so much minced garlic in there, it shouldn't really bring it up a notch. Um, but the one that I tried initially, I had my little light mayo on it. And it just didn't give me enough flavor. I, I just, I, I really, I have to have flavor. It's just got to be over the top. So I thought about my dad. My dad likes cha-cha. And so I went looking and I just opened this one and I had one that was sweet. And I'm like, I don't want that. I'm trying to get a kick here. So I found this one in the pantry. So I just opened this jar. And so we're going to see if this will help give me a kick. Now it's supposed to be hot. I'm hoping it's going to be hot because as my mother would say, is it hot and popping? I need this to be hot and popping because it's just not, it's just not doing it for me. So we're going to take my dog now and I'm going to put some of this cha-cha and I'm just going to spread it on. Oh, I'm hoping this will be good, guys, so I don't have to force it down. And of course, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how I eat. So I've got this on here now. So this is my turkey Italian sausage, the sweet dog that I grilled that I wanted to get my protein and I just put on there my black eyed pea spread, guys. It is black eyed peas and they were fr they weren't fresh, they were frozen. Oh, let me say that different. They were dried beans that I actually cooked in the crock pot. So I'm gonna cut this in half now. I am so used to having frozen beans um, that it was like, oh, I haven't cooked dried beans in a long time. Uh, and you see what this looks like. So uh, here goes nothing. Let's see if this tastes any good to me. It's better. Much better. The mustard is making a big difference. And believe it or not, my black eyed peas spread, refried beans spread, I don't know what we call it. It's helping this. And then the other big help is, I have to say it, it's the cha-cha. It's a cha-cha. It's not really hot for those who don't like spicy things, but it's adding something to it to combat the sweetness. Um, well, it's just sweet, but it's not really, really sweet. It's just, 
you know, it's, it's Italian sausage flavor, but remember, it's turkey. And I love turkey. I eat a lot of turkey. But you really have to work with turkey to bring in the flavor. And so I'm like, how do I transform this? I've got a way that I'm going to do it, but I don't think you guys probably want to do your food the way I'm going to do this. Because really, I want to take the um, casein off of this. And I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do it now that it's done. And I don't like the casing. Uh, and I want to get to that flavor, which is the actual meat that's under the casing. And then I want to do something with that to make it taste a little bit better. Because again, I need to eat it because it's protein. But I'm just not loving the flavor. But now that I have put my black eyed peas that I pressed down and made them kind of mushy. And they had... Um, red peppers, orange peppers, and yellow peppers in there, a lot of minced garlic, I'm going to tell you, and an onion. They were dried. I cooked them in the crock pot. Oh, and I found some um, smoked turkey. Uh, and I don't particularly like a lot of smoked products like that, but I had them in there and I thought, okay, let me use that. So I did cook these with the smoked turkey, uh, but I didn't like the turkey meat after afterwards. So I picked all of that out because mm, I don't want to eat that. And then, of course, I think what's really making this the star is the um, is the cha-cha. Oops, let me let you see the bright one. The hot cha-cha. Because one, is giving me um, that little kick. It's not hot, even though it says hot. It's not really hot, not to me. But it's elevating it. And for turkey, always remember, we're not going to leave turkey out in the cold. We just got to figure out how to elevate turkey. So, of course, I'm going to eat this. Never fear. I'm going to eat it. I'm just going to keep elevating it so that I'm intrigued by it and so that I will get the protein because it's a good protein. And it's great that they added that Italian uh, sausage flavor. It's just that it's not working for me right now. But, you know, I'm the queen of transforming. I'll keep transforming it until I like it. And then I'll write a real recipe instead of this, you know, where I'm just kind of feeling my way through now. But what I've learned is... If it's turkey, and I've said this before, you got to bring it. You got to bring it with turkey in order for turkey to taste really good. So I've had my protein today with my turkey dog that I added all this other different stuff. And I'm glad I thought about adding my black eyed peas as my spread because it gave me my fiber and my protein. So remember, in Gut Patrol, Taz in the Kitchen Lab, we're always trying to figure out, for me anyway, how I'm going to get my protein so that my fiber also comes. And if I can get them in the same dish, meaning peas, black eyed peas, my beans, it's even better. Because now I've got the protein, i got the fiber, and my system will be working really good, which is so important for gut health. So this has been Taz in the Kitchen. Remember, let's transform our mind. Let's think about how we can do things differently so that our bodies remain healthy and that we can do what? Take care of someone else. But you got to take care of you first. Until next time, talk with you later. Bye.